All right, so let's do this example that illustrates the case when uh, demand is normally distributed. Uh, so here we have a store that sells uh, juice um, and um, past data for demand shows that it follows a normal distribution uh, with a mean of 200 and standard deviation of 10. All right. Uh, of course, um, you realize that um, to apply the single period model, it's very important that you have past data. And not only that, you can represent the uncertainty in demand in a certain probability distribution. Um, now, if demand has different probability distribution, we still can use it. However, it's not exactly the same procedure. Uh, so let's now focus on these only two cases. Uh, now we have normal distribution, and in the next example, we'll tackle um, a case where demand follows a discrete probability distribution. So in this case, in this example, we have uh, a shortage cost or stock out cost of 60 cents given to us. And um, you know that this comes from the lost um, lost profit if uh, if you cannot satisfy all demand. And we have excess costs of 20 cents, uh, which means most probably it costs that store 20 cents per liter as a cost purchase cost. And uh, I'm assuming here that most probably they, they will discard all of it. Um, and that would lead to a uh, CE equal to 20 cents. So we need to find the optimal stocking level. Um, here, uh, just a quick note that it, the selling season here is weak, right? Because the demand is given per week. So um, we, we conclude that we're, we're looking at uh, the selling season. So uh, demand here in our example follows a normal distribution with a mean of 200. And we know that the optimal service level can be found now using this equation. We learned that before, and we'll end up with optimal service level of 0 0.75. So how do we illustrate that in terms of Q and in the curve? That means that the probability that demand is less than this Q star that we're looking for is 0 0.75. And on the curve, we can show that here, Q star is a value of, uh, is a value equal to a certain value of a demand where the probability that D is less than that value is 0 0.75. So to find that Q, we know that Q is at a distance from the mean, this distance, and this distance can be expressed uh, as z times sigma, right? And that's what makes then q star being equal to the mean plus z sigma z star. So what's that that star? We get it from the table in such a manner that p of z less or equal than z star is 0 0.75. Okay, so let me show you a, an extract of um, the z table. Uh, I need to take these out first because they may get you may they may confuse you. All right. Um, so we want to look for an area of 0 0.75, right? So remember in the Z table, all the um, values inside the table, all these. Okay, what are these? These are probability of z less or equal than a certain z value. And this column, okay, and this row shows us the z value. So we, we are interested into 0 0.75 area. So we locate the um, one which is close to it. It can be either 0 0.75, uh, 17, or the other one. It doesn't matter, honestly, it's not making much difference. Uh, if you're so picky, you can take even their um, average. But for me now, I'm going to take any one of these because they are not going to make any uh, major difference. All right, so this is the area that we're looking for. So what's the Z value corresponding to this area? Okay, so here this area comes in this row, and at the end of this row we have 0 0.6. 
but this is not the only one this is the first decimal only of the z value then in this column we go there and we find 0 0.08 which means our z is 0 0.68 and we plug this one here you see i plugged 0 0.68 in my uh, equation for q star and we'll have a value of 206.8 and of course to be practical we cannot order 206.8 liters and we say let's order 207 liters all right okay in the case when uh, demand um, exhibits a discrete probability distribution so obviously we cannot use the previous um, equation that says q star equal u plus z star times sigma so what can we do here again we start by the same step which is find the service level the optimal service level cs over cs plus ce and then we need to find out where that service level is uh, positioned within the probability distribution of the demand. Um, in many cases, or in mostly all cases, when you find the service level, it may not coincide, uh, coincide with a certain stocking level. Because when we talk about discrete priority distribution, we're looking at very limited number of values that are possible to be observed and um, maybe you will not be able to position exactly the same uh, 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 probability there so in this case we will decide on the um, um, on the quantity that um, that uh, that's corresponding to a demand which is greater than the surface level i'm going to illustrate that in the next uh, example it will be uh, very very clear i promise you all right, so here's an example from um, LEU cafeteria where um, they sell, of course, different meals and sandwiches and a very popular sandwich is the tuna sandwich. Um, they sell it for $7 and um, historical data shows them that demand uh, follows a discrete priority distribution demand of course during the lunch break okay so this is our selling season and here we go this is the priority distribution for the demand it's discrete where demand can be either 10 sandwiches 11 12 etc until 17 and we have probability probability corresponding to every value all right um so the cafeteria has a policy that unsold sandwiches uh, because they contain fish they should be discarded because of uh, risk of uh, poisoning of course so if tuna sandwich costs three dollars um sorry about that it's how many how many sandwiches should be prepared for the lunch break okay so we're looking for the optimal uh, stock level so we start by finding the optimal service level as we learned before and to do that we need cs and ce so let's find cs cs is the shortage cost so how much it costs us if we uh, run out of sandwiches so in other words demand is greater than the stocking level so we lose the opportunity to make a profit and this profit is what it's equal to seven minus three right it's the it's the price minus the cost so this is the profit that we're going to lose if we have a shortage so that's why this is cs what about the excess cost so how much does it cost us for any unsold sandwich it will cost us what the cost here you see uh, it's very important to understand the context of your problem in this problem everything will be discarded which means what there is no salvage so i cannot alleviate my cost and that's why my excess cost is simply my cost of preparation which is three dollars so now we can find the optimal service level which is equal to 60 percent or 0 0.6 all right so how to find now q what's the q star that will uh, result in a service level of 0 0.6 remember that the service level is probably that demand is less or equal than q star so i cannot use yet this uh, table probability uh, distribution table why because these probabilities are the probability for a single value of demand so for example 0 0.1 is what 
this is the probability that we have a demand for 11 sandwiches, 0 0.15 the demand for 12 sandwiches. But this expression, this is a cumulative probability expression, right? So what I have to do, I have to find the cumulative of all these probabilities, meaning that what the probability that demand is less or equal than 12, not only equal to 12, less or equal than 12. Eventually, this is what? This is probability of demand equal to 12 plus demand equal to 11 plus probability of demand equal to 10. So I sum these up, right? So let me uh, add one more column to this table, which shows the cumulative, uh, cumulative probabilities. And we can notice, of course, that the last one will always be equal to 1 because this is the probability that demand less or equal than 17, which covers all the possible demands. So these are our um, cumulative probability. So we found that the optimal service level, which is probability that demand less or equal than Q star, is 0 0.6. Remember in the previous slide I, I mentioned that you may not find this value in your probability distribution and this is uh, this applies here because you see i have 0 0.5 and i have 0 0.75 i cannot see 0 0.6 so according to the previous uh, uh, procedure what we do we position this one within our probability distribution here we go so it is somewhere here right it's between these two. So what do we do? We stock at the level which is higher than that, which is the 0 0.75, which corresponds to 14. All right. So this is why then our um, stock level, optimal stock level will be 14 sandwiches. Okay, so I hope that this was uh, clear for you. And this will conclude our uh, topic uh, about single period model. I hope that you have enjoyed it and uh, I'm sure that you'll find it very useful in, in the future.